Hey guys, what's up? Joe here. Um, I usually don't do videos back to back like this. I just made one yesterday, but in yesterday's video, I talked about how I got a new uh, comm system for my bike. Actually, while I was cruising around yesterday, it arrived when I came home, it was on my doorstep. So this is the FOD Sports. This is the BTS2 Pro. And it's got a, it's actually really good. I already set it up in my house and I didn't make a, a video of installing it because my other video installing the card out, basically the same thing. You take out the paddings, you, know, you stick them on the sides, route the wires. But the HJC helmet that I have, it's nice. It actually had the indents for the speakers and also had the indents for the, the wiring to, to you know run the wiring nice and neat in there. So other than that, it's basically the same. But testing this unit, uh, it actually sounds blows away the cardo and and I know it, I shouldn't say blows away but it is much much better than than the cardo it's actually as bass the cardo was like super tin, uh, tinny uh, that was the freecom 2 or freedom 2 freecom I think uh, this one has actually bass some to it but uh, it, it definitely has bass to it it definitely sounds better than the freecom one it's louder and one of the things I really like is the mic feature on this will actually let me record to my phone, which is cool because currently when I'm doing the moto vlogs, I'm taking, I've got a separate mic in the helmet that's wired to my action cam, which is a DJI Osmo. So I've got, you know, a, a cable coming out, going into the input, which actually on the Osmo, you've got a, a USB-C adapter that adapts it to the regular microphone input. So that's like another adapter you have to have on the phone. Same thing with Go, not on the phone, on the camera. Same thing with uh, GoPros, you have to have that mic adapter. So I had to have the action camera, then the adapter, and then the mic cord going in there. Then the second mic, you know, you have the, the comm system mic already in there. And now I have another mic in there. What I found with this is I could record Bluetooth using the, the mic from here that's already in my helmet and it's going to stay wired in the helmet. <clears throat> helmet. I don't have to move it or anything. And it'll go Bluetooth to another recording device such as my phone. I just have a regular voice recorder on here. And I tested it and it actually works. It's a little uh, thin sounding and tinny sounding. And we'll see in the, the modal vlog that I'm about to do after this and see how it is. I just as a quick test, I put the helmet on, did some recording. And like I said, it was a little thin sounding and tinny sounding. Um, it didn't really have much uh, just depth to it. It just sounded very flat. But in post, I was able to pretty much bring it back to life or to a level set that I wanted. The levels were also a little bit low. I brought the levels up and put some EQ on it and put some filters on it and it actually sounded pretty good, which hopefully we're gonna hear in a little bit. So this, Betty, sorry, my dogs, there's another dog out there. She's barking through the fence. So uh, this comes with basically the same thing like uh, any other helmet does any other communication systems you got this that clips onto the side of the helmet you got your two um, earphone parts and then you got the the mic part and you can get this with either a boom mic if you have an open face helmet or you can get it with the uh, stationary mic or the soft mic they call it which since I have a full face helmet and you're not lifting it up like a modular helmet um, I, I opted for the one without the boom because that mic is now run inside the, the helmet all right so let's go check out a motor vlog all right, so here we go. We've got the, the new Bluetooth comm system in place, and it sounds really good. The music sounds excellent. I know I can't play it here. You probably wouldn't even hear it if I did play it through. But I'm hoping the modal vlog is working. As you can see here, I've got my phone set up with Bluetooth, so we've got no wires here, no wires hanging from the action cam. I'm going directly Bluetooth out of this uh, comm system going right into Bluetooth on my phone and going by the waveforms. It looks like it's all recording, so that's that's good. I, like I said, um, you know, previously the the audio does sound a little thin, a little weak. I mean, the the mic on the blue on the phone when I play back the recordings, but I was able to fix that in post on my first trial that I did, and we'll see <laughs> we'll see how this video sounds afterwards. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of cross my fingers and hoping that I will be able to fix it in post. So I think I will. So for 50 bucks, I mean, even if you weren't using it for remote vlogging and you were just using it for the headphones and listening to music and GPS and intercom, I'm, I'm not even too worried about the intercom part. Like I said, I, I'm not really going to be speaking with my, my friends when we're riding. If anything, we could just make a phone call and speak that way. So I really 
don't know how the intercom part is, and I really can't test it right now. But I'm really in no interest in, in that part. I just really wanted to clean up the moto vlogging so I don't have an extra wire and I don't have an extra mic. I can get away with one mic in here and zero wires and never have to mess with my helmet. Again, as far as fiddling with the mic when I go to ride on the bike or, or let's say I'm not doing a moto vlog and I want to ride, I'm like, ah, I, I don't want to, you know, I got to pull this mic out now and rewrap the wires. Nope, this is in. Let's uh, set it and forget it. Mic set up. Bluetooth is set up. Earpiece is all set up. So whether I'm just cruising around and not motovlogging or I'm doing a motovlog, I always have everything set up. And what's actually really cool is even if I had no intention of doing a motovlog and I was just out cruising, I already have everything I need if I just decided I wanted to start some one, you know, something up. And I'm like, ah, oh, you know what? Let me motovlog. Good. I got my phone with me. That's Bluetooth, and just hit the recording program, and turn on the microphone, and we're done. So this little thing for 50 bucks, it sounds great for music, and it's great for motor blogging. So with a little post work, you know, cleaning up the audio signal in post afterwards. And if you just take the audio directly out, it doesn't sound that great. But nothing that any good video and even audio program can't clean up. So, all right, so on that note, I'm going to end this, and just, it's actually cold out today. It was nice. The sun came out before. It was raining this morning, but then the sun came out. It was nice uh, warming up a little. All right, so on that note, I'm going to end this, because it's really not a nice day for riding. I got some good riding in yesterday. Today, it's all, you know, cloudy and gross out, so... And it's a little chilly. I got my leathers on. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate it. Really uh, glad you guys are checking out the videos. And hopefully these are helping people out with decisions on, on what to buy. I know I really haven't done much on the motorcycle itself. It's really nothing more to say other than this, I love this bike. It's been, it's been awesome so far. So all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. Have a great day.